Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 horror film, The Welder. The film is co-written and directed by David Liz, and it stars Camila Rodriguez, Vincent DePaul, Rob Dunkley, and Chris Moward. Now the film focuses on Camelia Rodriguez's character, Eliza, who... Um, it's like ex-military. It seems like she's suffering quite badly from PTSD. She's really, really stressed, can't relax. Um, and her partner, um, Ro, I believe is called, decides to book them like um, a breakaway in like a, a cabin in the woods type thing um, in order for her to, you know, wind down, relax, um, and just, you know, try and get herself right. So they head out there, head to these this cabin, um, and it is the property who uh, is owned by a character called William Godwin, who kind of runs like a ranch, literally next door, it's like a horse ranch and so forth. Um, and they they take up residence in the cabin, and then things don't exactly go to plan. The electricity keeps going out. And the guy that owns the ranch seems a little bit off, a little bit strange. He keeps talking about his um, black wife who was murdered several years ago. And there's a guy working on the property. Uh, is it Don, I believe he's called, who is just very odd, um, doesn't kind of interact correctly. And he just, everybody is a little bit tense. However, it kind of continues to escalate where Eliza and Ro realise they are in, are in grave danger. Right, what are my thoughts on The Welder? Well, in actual fact, I mean, um, The Welder to some degree is uh, a, a kind of a misleading title. I mean, the poster looks cool and the title looks cool and you think there's going to be a guy wandering around, you know, in a welder's mask, um, you know, and one of those tools and welding people left, right and centre. And in actual fact, that's not what happens at all. Yes, there is a guy wandering around in a welder's mask, but you don't see him an awful lot in the film. In actual fact, this is more of a Frankenstein-type film. Um, and I mean, you know, like um, the, uh, Dr. Frankenstein and the Frankenstein's monster-type thing. It's got much more of a vibe going on than that. When 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 the curtain is pulled back in this film and everything is revealed, um, that that is what the kind of the film presents itself as, so to speak. I think there are aspects of this. I mean, because this is a low budget film. I mean, it, it, it while it is twenty twenty one, it is just getting its release um, in February this year. Uh, so I suspect it's been doing its rounds at the um, you know festivals and things like that. Um, and while this is low budget, um, and there is an element of that when you watch it, some of the performances are just not up to scratch. But I think for the most part, the main players here in the film, namely um, Camille Rodriguez, Rob Dunkley, and Vincent de Paul, are all quite watchable. You know what I mean? I, I think you know they work quite well on screen, and their performances are of a good standard here. And there's a, the the film, while low, but you just feel like it's got a certain amount of polish to it. It's filmed quite nicely. Some of the cinematography works quite well. There's a there's a sense of foreboding when you're watching it because you just know something's going to happen, um, and you're just not sure what what is this going to kind of develop into like a slasher film is it going to develop into something else and you know and it did actually surprise me when I when um, when the reveal happens sort of thing, it did kind of surprise me a little bit as to what was what the actual answers were. Um, and it was quite satisfying in that sense. However, I think many people will watch this film and will not like it for a lot of reasons. It's described as a horror, but there's very, very little happens in this film up until the last 15 minutes, something like that. Leading up to the last 15... <coughs> Excuse me. Leading up to the last fifteen twenty minutes is really quite a slow paced film, um, and while the performances are of a decent enough standard, um, the plot isn't um, necessarily engaging. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of this um, exchange between this couple and the guy who owns the ranch. 
and you know the housekeepers uh, the groundskeeper sort of thing it's these constant exchanges and you know <clears throat> something's just not right there but it just keeps playing around with that idea and it gets a little bit boring and dull um, and the pace is, I think, just a little bit too slow for many to appreciate and enjoy. Um, so I think while it does have a fairly strong finish and there is um, a level of uh, graphic violence in the last 15, 20 minutes of the film, um, I th I'm not so sure it's enough to prop up the rest of the film. I think people will... Um, I think maybe most people will watch this and come away disappointed. I think it is about just about an average film. I think it could have been better. I think they'd have explored the horror elements more. It would have improved it a um, little bit more, you know, uh, violence, gore and things like that. And maybe a few more players in the film as well to kind of, you know, I th sometimes <clears throat> films go too far in regards to, you know, um, body count and you just you can look at certain characters and think well you're going to die you're going to die you're going to die well in this one there's not enough characters because you're like well there's only really two people here you know what I mean um, how is this going to work you know it's it's not going to be particularly frightening or you're not going to see much in regards to horror so maybe you know it might work better if there'd have been four of them rather than two sort of thing just to give you know <laughs> the welder sort of thing um something more to focus on rather than just this two couples uh, th this this one couples sorry so i think it's all right this um i, I didn't dislike it but i also think it could have been better and it could have probably um been improved to make it more palatable to horror fans so anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this review i'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very very soon